This is your new podcast channel though, right? Yeah, we just started this. Subscribe to the new channel, guys. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button. Four play presented by Barstool Sports. We are here in Florida. We're at this fantastic spot, the park, which we're going to get into. We got myself, Frankie Trent, and we're joined for the very first time, a long time coming by Grant Horvat. Welcome to the show. Thank you guys for having me. We had a hell of a day today. We did. That, that was a fun day. A lot of great content. Today. We filmed two videos. We filmed one for your channel, one for our channel. Um, you kind of got to look at everything at our games. We, you know, it's funny. Like we live in this space where we've been doing this kind of thing for seven years. Or right, right. We do it podcasting. We started doing more and more videos when Dave wouldn't yell at us. And we kind of got to a point where we were allowed to do more videos. And then we would do more that went from like social to YouTube. And we jump into the YouTube space. But you've been dominating the YouTube game for a long time yeah i mean yeah it's been good i i think uh when i did go you know when i kind of branched off on my own there was mm -hmm. a lot of stress there but it's been it's been good i mean it's been you know i've been traveling a lot collabing and meeting new people like you guys and then i was over with rick and then just keep jumping around and obviously joey and fp and the guys at baba sports I've just been jumping around and hanging with everyone and it's it's been really fun and I love collabing because I feel like it brings out a different energy than a solo video. And I love the solo videos as well, but it's just different and I think the collabs are really fun. It's cool to see worlds cross, like yeah. YouTube worlds, because there's been a lot of that going on the last few years, collaborating, like we've done some of that with, with Bob and with a few different people, but not as many as a lot of the others. And when you're here, like we are talking off camera a ton right. about the behind the scenes part of it and yeah. playing that game and trying to, you know, like be as big as you can in the space. Yeah, and it's, yeah, it's kind of funny because I feel like maybe your guys, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like we maybe have a little bit of a different audience. And yeah. I feel like it's cool that I can collab with you guys and we can still hang out and we're, I mean, I'm probably a lot different than you guys are like audience wise, like I said, totally. and I just feel like it's cool that we can all like hang out and collab together. It's great. And it's golf brings everyone together. That's the special part about it. You know, it's funny to think that like you try to put yourself in the audience's shoes. Yeah. And the audience sees these people online right. playing golf and doing shows or whatever. And then, the, you know, their feeling when guys get together must be really interesting because even if i see i'm like oh shit i've seen this guy on, on youtube a million times there he is in person he's tall yeah. like wow you know yeah. like you're it's kind of interesting so they must think i can't yeah. imagine what that experience must be like for just a fan of youtube golf stuff and i've seen like people on different pages like arguing about what would be a fair matchup if we collabed and yeah. stuff like how would it work and today we did a 1v3 <laughs> which was really fun. I it mean, was. I won't, I won't spoil it, but yeah. like, it was amazing. Frankie played great. Trent hit some insane shots. Thank you. Riggs was short game was on fire today. So yeah, it, it was a really good. Me and Frankie were talking. It was a really good format that you came up with to make it interesting, right? Without having to throw like strokes and stuff out there. Yeah, I, I always try and avoid strokes yeah. if I can. I I'd rather play different tee boxes to help out. Like I'd rather you guys play the front tees and I play all the way back instead of giving you guys shots. Like it's I think we fun. struggle with that a lot because there's yeah. so many different handicaps in our group right? that we're constantly always trying to figure out the most fair way to make it a good match. And it's always like, like we did an alternate shot match and we gave out like seven strokes and it was just very confusing for the viewer, I feel like, yeah, to know, yeah. oh, this putt was for par, but they actually won the hole. Because I, it's like, I agree 100%. Yeah, you do have to figure out a way to make it the least confusing and strokes make it so confusing. The tee boxing is interesting. I think that's a good way to do it. I agree. I think when you get like net versus gross and it's like too much, it's just hard for the viewer to follow. And I just not a huge fan of giving shots. So yeah. in your um, beginning and all of this, I kind of want to get the story, the Grant Horvath story of yeah. like where you started. How did you get into this whole entire world? Yeah. And how did you sure. get here to this day? Yeah. I. Uh, so I've been doing YouTube golf now for almost three years. I think we're coming up on three years pretty It's only been three soon. years? Only been three years. That's really impressive then because you've become a household name in YouTube golf. That's, that's nuts. That's nuts, dude. Yeah, three years we've been doing it. Um, I start out, man, I start out, I, my first video ever though was with Garrett yep. and he used to come down to Florida and that was probably like five years ago. The first time I was seen on YouTube was like Kyle Berkshire and like this long drive video. I remember, yeah. I can't even watch it. It's hard to watch. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, yeah. it's really What made tough. you want to make a golf video? You played college golf, right? Yeah. You obviously played golf your whole entire life. You're elite, you got the best swing on the internet. Yeah. What, like, 
what made you guys want to go film a video at that point? Because it wasn't I feel well, like only like us and a couple other groups were even like thinking about creating golf brands at that point. Well, I, I will say Garrett was already big and I, I give a lot to always to Garrett because right. like he did really help me in the beginning and he's part of my story and I mean all the guys too as well. But um, he was already big, like he was already GM golf. He was doing the trick shots back then. Yep. And that's when we kind of got in touch. And then long story short, um, started to do GM golf with Garrett. So that's how I started out. It was through GM golf, um, lived out in the good, good house. And over time, I think it was like, two, it took about two months. And then I like went on one good, good week. And it just kind of like, it worked. And I mean, it took a little while for everyone to adjust with the new guy coming in. But yeah, it was, it was always originally, I was supposed to do just me and Garrett doing GM golf. That was like our thing when I first started out in Texas and then it transitioned into good, good. And we always still did GM golf together. And I, I think some of my favorite content ever, I think a lot of people I've seen that they've liked it has been like our road trip series, Garrett and I, um, we traveled down the coast of California. And we just like made it a long series, started at Lake Tahoe. Mm -hmm. And that was really cool. Like back then, like looking back at that now and seeing how much people love that, that was, it was special, but yeah, GM golf, good, good. And then, that transition onto me going out on my own and now being able to like travel and collab with different people. So totally. It's, like it's a, uh, you know, it, it's like, it's incredibly uh, respectable to grind. Like even today, yeah, we played two nine hole matches. We're playing golf and having a good time. We're laughing, but it's a grind. And I even noticed it's like, you know, you're talking and working with Sky. I'm like, hey, you need to grab the camera. You need to get this shot. Yeah. You need to be here. You need to be. And then you're, you're very aware of, you know, you, you do your, videos in a different style than we do where a lot of it is talking more to the camera we talk to each other which you sort of notice and we all talk about but i think it's very it's very easy to notice the grind you talk about doing these you know the trips all the way down the coast and filming everything like that that stuff is not just a cakewalk it's like yeah, you gotta no. be hungry yeah no back then i mean i was barely even home I, I think i was traveling out of the month i was probably two and a half three weeks out of the month yeah maybe a, maybe home like a week yeah. And it was it was a grind, but it's a fun grind. And yeah. I, I don't I think it was it's still to this day. I love it. Like I'm traveling all the time. And the more I travel, the more, you know, I meet new people and collab, the better the videos do. And the people like to see me traveling. It's it, I feel like but w there will be a point now living here in Jupiter. I'm calling it. I mean, Bob's already coming with the whole crew. Yeah. I think everybody's going to come down here. Yeah, I think everybody will be in Jupiter. And I mean, not you guys, but I think for the majority, I mean, I could even see you guys coming. Like there will be a time where all the pros live here. So yep. it's so accessible for everybody, yeah. you know? And I feel like everyone can access the pros. I mean, you guys have a lot of connections with the pros, but yeah, I just feel like everyone's gonna be moving down to Jupiter and eventually you won't have to travel as much. Chevrolet, baby. This podcast is brought to you by our great friends at Chevy. Go to Chevy.com slash electric. Chevy's got a nationwide dealer network that has over 1,900 certified EV dealerships and over 5,550 EV trained technicians. I don't even know how they have had enough time to get all these things out there already. I mean, they've been doing it for 10 years. I guess that's a good point. They planned ahead. Something we don't do, Chevy does a lot of. They planned ahead. They've been planning for 100 years, these guys. Right. They've had a lot of time. Um, it's true you have less routine maintenance on electric vehicles. You know that, Trent? I actually did not know that. But if you need maintenance on your Chevy EV, they have technicians that are EV certified. The nationwide dealership is a true value to consumers because they are there for you with any electric vehicle question. Like we said, they've been doing it for over 10 years. They have the knowledge and the skills to sell or service any Chevy EV. Learn more right now at Chevy.com slash electric. That is Chevy.com slash electric. So now that you're on your own, um, you're obviously collaborating a lot more with everybody on in the YouTube space. Was there ever a time where there was like a like a maybe a non spoken about rivalry with other YouTube golf brands? Like I, I feel like it's more of like a new thing, all these collaborations, is it not? Yeah, no, I, I definitely think just competition in the YouTube space has gotten like there's more people coming in. Like it doesn't take much. Like the barrier to enter the space is like very, very little. I yeah. You get a camera, you start filming with your friends. Now what sets aside channels is production levels and that maybe takes time. That takes money. Um, 
but like the space is definitely like we're i'm always monitoring what everybody's doing i know what every channel is doing i know what's doing well thumbnails titles i know what people are liking like paying attention like that it's something rick talks about a lot too like he knows everything going on in the space and it's it's good to make sure your your eyes are peeled and you know what to do next and what people are liking and i just think it getting very competitive like it's just a lot of lot of channels going up yeah i mean for us you know a peek behind the curtain of what we were dealing with was like we were trying to just build a golf brand at at barstool sports and it felt very much like if we just succeed at barstool that's our success like that's who pays our checks that's that's yeah, every yeah. that's all that we have to worry about we put our videos on youtube as a source of this as a as a as a place to just go watch our videos right this was probably up until I'd say like a year and a half ago or two years ago where yeah. we really started to like dial in. Shortly oh. after COVID probably. Then we realized like that is the business is YouTube. That's a right. whole, that's its own world. And, and and it is a scary place, right? Like you like, you put a lot of work into some ideas and you spend a lot of money and you travel across the world. It could do nothing. And it, it, could, could do it could do right. horrible. And the thumbnail's right. not good and the title's not good. The whole video flops. And there's crazy competition and everyone yeah. has the same idea and everyone's stealing ideas from everybody else. And yeah. it's like, it's just, it's amazing how it has really revved up over these and last 24 months. With that being said, I think one thing that will always be good and never go away is good quality golf and competition. Right. Because the ideas can all be this like same, but if there's good competition, good banter, good golf, like that's not easy to do every time you tee it up. Correct. So the good videos will usually weed their way towards the top. But right. yeah, I mean, Trent and I were actually talking about it earlier. I feel like YouTube golf is like the new YouTube in general it doesn't have to be golf. It just feels like the new TV. Like it's taking yep. big time the spot of television to a right. degree. Right. Like there's still the professional athletes. There's still college football. There's still all the sports. But outside of that. It is. It, it is. It really is. It's like it, it's the live sport. And it's sometimes it's demoralizing for me to like think about how the same type of videos are the ones that just hit that streamline where like you could put a lot of thought into like a documentary about golf or something and you really put it like we'll do like this this thing called behind the greens right where we film all the guys doing all the mowing and all the landscaping and all the uh, agronomy guys and you shine a light on these guys and that'll do like 95 to 120,000 views. But then you can go out and play a match, uh, a 2v1 match with one guy's shirt off and it gets like 800,000 views. And like, it just yeah. feels like mm -hmm. it's all becoming like similar. You know what I mean? Like it kind of, it's also frustrating. Cause that it's is like frustrating. The good, it's kind of scary sometimes to like branch out and really do like different content when you know what does well. Already. That's what I mean. Yep. So it's like, just, yeah, like that's sweet. Like, you know, that that's really cool <laughs> no. that, you know, you can highlight the guys that are behind the scenes of a golf course and all these new COVID golfers, what I call them, like new people getting into golf in the last year, two years. Um, they can see that, which is right. like you normally you can't see that. Yeah. Dude, is it uh, is it stressful and nerve wracking for you to have to perform golf on camera at a high level consistently? I feel like that's, that's a great question because I just now, like I told you guys coming into this, in the last like five rounds, I'm 30 under par. And this has never happened in my life. And I told you, I'm like, I'm that's having such a ridiculous. I'm having <laughs> none more... of us reacting because we heard already. We heard it. Yeah, that's yeah. such that's... a preposterous thing. And after watching you play today, it's very believable. Oh, he's playing so yeah. well. Of course. Not to throw Joel Damon under the bus, but Joel Damon plays five rounds in his like backyard golf course. There's no way he's 30. under. I don't know that he's 30 under, but 30 under, dude. <laughs> it's so good. He's yeah. going to throw a 74 in there at one point. I mean, come on. Yeah, so it's just, good. like I you're asking me this question when I'm loving golf and like True. performing yeah. at a high level. If I was not performing well and not playing well, it'd be a whole different answer. But I feel like I've reached the point now where the last two years I've gotten to a point with a, there's like a consistency in my golf game that I can rely on almost every time I tee it up. Yeah. And I can, I mean, my worst scores now should like they're usually around 75. If that is like a horrible day where I'm hitting it bad and I can usually just get it around. And that feels good to like be able to say that because I used to not be able to say that. Like my yeah. short game wasn't there. I just feel like I'm be, be, I'm able to save rounds now and rely on other parts of my game. And it's interesting because for us, like people know we're not good at golf. Yeah. And so there's not this, I mean, yeah, we all do feel like we want to hit good shots and, and we have all this equipment and 
we we play pretty frequently and it yeah. stinks to hit be bad but people also laugh at it and it's not that big of a deal where it's like it's more relatable yeah sure, at times for sure but a big part of your brand is like you have the silkiest most beautiful swing in youtube golf and you're a really good player and we were kind of talking like Dude, that must be a bit like stressful for you to like go yeah. in and be like, I need to be really good. I don't see a difference between you and a professional golfer that is relying on good play consistently to make money and, and have a career and a, and a living. Why well, say that again? Like your your living has now turned into you having to play really, really consistently good golf. And right, I like see, I'm real. It's I'm not a, that right. different from a professional golfer. Right. They, like I'm a bad golfer. The stakes aren't there the way that they are for you. Now, like he's saying, we get added pressure where it's like we have great coaching. We have great equipment. We have access to all of these things. I'm still terrible, but you, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat while we do this. We are. Yeah, I'm, you know, sorry. We, I'm that's starving. That's fine. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you, you're just, yeah, you're, but you are very good. So it works. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, I'm just like, I'm now playing, like I said, the best golf of my life. So yeah. it's not always good. And when you're not performing at that level that, you know, you can, that's where it gets frustrating. And I feel like there is that expectation for a video to do well. And for people to actually want to watch it. And I have this cut series where basically I go out and I start at a certain number and I try and make the cut on the second day of a PGA tour event. So it's like a hypothetical thing. I go mm -hmm. to PGA tour courses yeah. and in the first like nine holes, you can kind of tell if I'm going to make the cut or not. Yeah. And it's frustrating. Like the last three I did, like I didn't even come close to making it. I just didn't play good. And that's where, that's where like the quality of golf gets really frustrating when you're mm -hmm. not performing. It a lot of there's pressure for sure it has to yeah yeah and it's i mean it's frustrating like i said even for us and we know we stink we know people know that we're not good and it's still like you just you want to deliver and hit those good shots i, I was i'm glad you said that because i was gonna ask like as you're playing the best golf of your life like does it become like just part of you want to try to like make it and play it's, professional golf yeah i feel like this is where it's, it's funny because this is where that like feeling like i feel like i'm really <sighs> I don't know how to explain it i just i feel like this is one time where i could maybe do something and it's right now mm -hmm. like if i wanted to go if i got a tour exemption i could very well go miss the cut and finish pretty low on the leaderboard but i definitely think at this point i could give it a run to like make a cut yeah in a tour event and i do feel that i mean the putter is where i would need to get better but i i've played on camera so much the nerves aren't something that i'm worried about um, just because I play in a couple minor league events around here and I mm -hmm. just, I've been able to like calm the nerves down, which I couldn't do in college. I was just to get way too nervous. So playing in front of the camera has helped too. Yeah. Well, for yeah. Sure. For sure. Yeah. You're uh, hitting the ball phenomenally. So I mean, you hit up on the ball. It's so fluid. There's so much consistency. There's so much structure to your swing. You're not falling over. You're not moving around. It's so pure. How did you get to this point in your golf swing? Like why, why are you? are you so fundamentally sound? Like, where did that all stem from? Is it just playing college golf? Is it like, how did this all? Yeah, so my, I give it all to my dad. Okay. Um, so he's been a pro now for almost 50 years. And wow. the second I started golf, he was fundamentals, fundamentals, fundamentals. And so it started with, I didn't have to like, some people start golf and they have all these bad habits that they have to get rid of. And they're always backtracking to try and get in positions. Like, my like who? Like, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> saying any. <laughs> I'm not saying any. What? what? Uh, but <laughs> I just, I feel like I was very blessed to have a dad that was a pro and helped me out from the beginning. And I will say, like, for some reason, when I first started playing golf, I was obsessed with looking at swings on my phone. And that mm. was back 10, 11 years ago. I remember my old iPhones. I was sitting there like looking at my golf swing this second and it just was always fun to me. You were doing that today. Yeah. I just like, I can't stop. Yeah. yeah. And so like, I know where I want to be and I guess iPhones and seeing your swing on video has helped a ton. Like right. that is, but well, obviously I'm just going to give it all to my dad for sure. Yeah. It's That's amazing. amazing. Yeah, and now you have the new channel where you, you're starting to teach. Teaching. Yeah. So has that always been a dream of yours now? That's been like the passion. That's definitely been where the passion There's lies. So much food ahead of us, by like of us. just it's helping cool. others get better. That's for right. sure. Where I, I can see uh, you get passionate about it when you see something. You saw something in Trent's game today. Yeah, no, Trent like couldn't Trent has help a lot yourself. of potential though. Like, I mean, you guys all are. I thought you guys played a lot better than I thought you would. Let's put it that way. I don't know if that's a compliment. I do that think we get that a good amount actually when yeah. people see. Us. You guys were better golfers than I thought. 
for sure. Now we still can be horrible for sure. We but, hit some bad shots, but we got sure. some potential in there. Yeah. yeah, which makes it even more frustrating. Yeah, honest, exactly. It's like, well, expectations yeah, lead to like the sadness. We're still yeah. in this world with our games that, like, when we do something good or decent it's impressive to the viewer i feel like yeah yeah so like i never almost like <laughs> i want to get way like better that. i do i have that like that hunger and that drive but i also like like where we're at where it's like if we had a good shot people are, are still surprised and cheering that's cool because like there's no expectation there is go. none no it's like if you pull it off but trent hasn't broken 90 yet yeah, we still can't believe when I hit good shots. Yeah, it's great. Th that's crazy to me that you have not broken ninety. And that can't. series you guys are doing is really like you guys got a lot of really cool series on foreplay. You yeah. guys got the breaking ninety, but you also have Dan has Dan yeah. is doing the nine in mind, which is really cool. You guys got a bunch of yeah cool the little series within your channel that I feel like you've built hype around. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Trent can go out there and you guys can pull half a million views on a breaking 90 is special <laughs> like that's special Isn't that amazing <laughs> that is absolutely amazing yeah get in here yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, i mean for context i mean we're talking about food a lot we've been at this thing since 11 a.m and oh, we I haven't know. eaten a single thing absolutely we've had grinding. three waters each and that's it dude this looks this is yeah we're this honey mustard Are come on just like fries we're at the park in west palm beach took me six minutes to get here this morning from the airport very close to the airport oh yeah it was close um phenomenal golf course Phenomenal. Open, open um, layout. You can hit it anywhere. Mm -hmm. This driving range anywhere. they're building here is insane. I was telling you guys a story about that, actually. So, funny story on the driving range because we couldn't warm up today. Someone hit it over the net, I heard, and hit someone at the school. Mm. Like there's a, there's a middle school down there, right down there in the corner. So, they're building higher nets. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I could be wrong. I don't, but I, I've heard that story through the grapevine. But with the height you hit golf balls, I mean, it doesn't matter. It wasn't how, me. How, I will say high. it wasn't me. Yeah, they're going to have to build that that net unbelievably high. Mm -hmm. um, hey. Hey, hey. What's up, bro? Hey, what's up? How's it going, dude? I think we might be bringing him on for a second because he oh, yeah. talk about the park. Oh, yeah. yeah. We were yeah. just talking here, right? about it. Yeah. Hop in. Yeah. yeah. We can do a rotation. There you go. Wow. Amazing. All right. Yeah, we were just talking about this place. This is perfect. I want to eat. So yeah. We're here at the park. I, wait, so is this a... Hold on. I got to... Ultimate oh, fact right check here. right now. What's up? Did someone hit it over the net and like almost hit a kid or hit a kid? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Was that why so, they're building the higher? Like, I'm sorry no, to put you on like the like here spot to talk like about So charity. we have top trace on the range. <laughs> and we can monitor all the balls <laughs> that's hit on the range. And the oh. first week we had too many go over the net. So uh, we quickly shut it down and um, just for the safety of everybody. Right. And, uh, and decided to build higher net. So that's a great answer. Good idea. That was good. So, so you're, the, you're the pro here. <laughs> yeah, I'm the head pro. Uh, Cody, right there. He's the director of golf. Justin, he's our director of coaching. Um, oh, cool. What's your name again? My name's Clay. Clay Myers. You were in Texas too. Which I was is in crazy Texas because I remember I, seeing you in Texas. So to to you used to come out to Prestonwood. Yes, Prestonwood in Texas. Yeah, him and Martin used to come out. Yep. Um, Martin drove number one green out there, which was stupid Long it's like, drive guy. like 390 yeah. mm. 390 Jeez. i mean oh i hit the ball pretty far i hit about you know 330 and pretty far no big deal and so everybody every time Ever i heard play with, every time i play with people they're like why don't you do long drive and i'm like <laughs> no no like i'm 125 club head speed martin's like 140 i know and yeah. kyle berkshire I've yeah play with him. playing with it's kyle not berkshire even is like the craziest didn't Grant, he just your... set a record for swing speed or ball speed kyle? yeah uh, long drive. It was I long think, drive. Yeah. It's like five, like five something. Yeah, like five forty. Yeah, like up in yeah. Wisconsin. What was it, just Wyoming? Wyoming? Yeah. What are we even? T what are we talking about? Five hundred and forty yards. Yeah, that's crazy. I've hit drivers. You step up to a, a par. You step up to a par five. It's five forty. Like long one, boys. Like, this is. We had several of them today. Yeah, couldn't even come close to it. We had like three ten in. <laughs> this course is long <laughs> from the tips. Yeah, we played that today. Yeah, too long. How'd you like it? Oh, you think? oh my oh, god, great. man, we loved it. Is a phenomenal. It. I compared course. it. I've never played Seminole, but I compared it to Seminole. That's a bold that's, claim because I don't what even I know said. what I'm talking I love about. that. That's a good move. <laughs> so, reminds me of Seminole. You ever been there? Nope. <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> Only seen pictures. So a lot of our donors. So this was started. Uh, Seth Wa got a group together. They raised over like 50 million for this project. A lot of our donors are from Seminole, so we got to play out there and. Yeah, like you said, I went out there. It's similar without the water. Without the water, yeah. without the ocean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I but don't, don't ask them that. Florida golf's not my favorite. It's probably a lot of people's not 
favorite with it's flat and there's water and it's soft and the whole deal. This plays completely differently. Yeah. It is very I got some kind you of got, bug no, just you're came good. after me. He hit you in the air. He sounded big. Yeah. <laughs> <It's pretty> big. <laughs> he sounded big. It's firm yeah, around yeah. here. It's yeah, it's nice. firm. Yeah. It's open. Linksy. Mm-hmm. Really cool. You didn't lose the ball today, did you? Nope. Yeah. That's the good thing about this not. course. So when Tiger uh, Tiger played it before we opened, him, Rory, Justin Thomas, all the guys that's down here. And Tiger, in Tiger's words, he said, this is a one-ball golf course. You're not, you're not going to lose call. your golf ball out here. So when Gil Hans designed it, it was designed to be fun. It was designed to be – but still challenging. As you can see, like around the greens and stuff, you can hit flop shot. You can hit a bump and run. You can put it. You know, you don't have a lot of forced carries. Like I said, it's no water. So it's very family-friendly. You know, we're – big on junior golf here um our first tournament as a facility that we uh hosted was the underrated tour steph courage tour amazing uh, back in january we posted probably three or four uh south florida junior golf events yeah yeah um and you know we're just trying to trying to move the needle with w- with access to high-end public golf courses so. i used to play on that tour all the time south florida yeah. tours where i grew up playing so you guys had something today too right Right before we yeah, off. so today we had the uh, Palm Beach Schools District Tournament. Oh, nice! Gotcha. Yeah, I think uh, Palm Beach Gardens won it. So shout out them. There I'm gonna go. be scared uh, to lose the ball out here. I feel like after you said that, I'd be letting Tiger down. You like, would, yeah. Hit one OB, you're like, oh dang, he said it's the one ball. Yeah, like, it's the one. Like, if you hit it OB, man. You get one ball, and if you lose it, you're done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you have to, you have to <laughs> leave. Well, you I actually lose. lost the ball today. So yeah. Oh, you did. I was really lucky. Yeah, yeah up under that was the lucky. Lip. Yeah, that Some, was bizarre. Someone's gonna find that ball in the next couple of weeks. Just disappeared. On the hole. Uh, right here, number nine. 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 Okay, you can lose the tee to the right. Just, yep, in the yeah. bunker on the right. Okay, yeah. It you can disappeared off, and I think into the bank. Uh, like he hit like this low, like what stinger cut? Yeah, it was of? like a low fade. I teed it really low and hit this low bleeder cut, and it just I watched it bounce into the bunker and disappeared. Oh man, it was crazy. Yeah, we never found <laughs> it. Never found it. So you guys got a lot of action going on up here. You got the putting course. You've got par three course. And yeah, what is the par three? I'm seeing these huge lights. It's lit up. Is it nine holes? What is it? Yeah, so it's nine holes, 60 to 100 yards. Um, You just need a couple clubs to play. Uh, Yeah, and everything, all our practice facilities open until nine o'clock. So our top tracer range, we got 24 bays out there. uh, That's lit up until nine, uh, the the range and our putting course. Um, So we, you know, our core values here is we like to be fun. So all that areas over there, that's fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know. Um, and it's accessible too. It's open to everybody. One of our monikers here is open golf. So we want to be as open as possible to, to the community of West Palm beach, especially what we're doing with our path. Um, that's our, uh, 501 C three, uh, reach, uh, for the community here, at West Palm beach, the kids, uh, we're providing after school tutoring for them, golf, STEM, art, all these different classes for these kids. And, and they're doing this and they're getting this free. They're getting this for free, so that's awesome. You know, so everything we do here at the park is to help that program, that's so special. that these kids have you know a safe place to come, and so that they can say, you know, if it wasn't for the park, I wouldn't be a doctor, a lawyer, you know, wherever it might take them. And so we we want to be that start for them. That's incredible. Uh, how's your how's your art? You teach an art class? I'm there? not teaching art. I just <laughs> teach, I just teach golf. I was out there today with the kids. So over here we got like a little snag area. You guys heard of snag? No, no. So, Snag. Yeah, it's called Starting New at Golf. It's an acronym. Mm. Plastic clubs, plastic balls, but we got like a little four-hole course that the kids just play around and unreal. You know, so we try to have a, a entry at every, you know, whether you're a beginner, um, you know, if you're a kid, you can start at Snag. If you're a beginner, you can start on a putting course. You can start on a part three course. You can start on a range. We got so many areas where you can start before you get to the big course. And that's kind of cool. And so we just, you know, that is great. Like the the path to it, right? I love right. Because the eighteen holes out here can be intimidating, especially for beginners. Oh yeah, um, they might just, ruin their love for it before they even start. Yeah, you know, it's just too much to handle. Right, right. So and for guys that play every day on camera, it could be too much to handle. Yeah, <laughs> you know, who won a day by the way? Bit. Can't get away. Can't spoil. You know, we can't spoil. We got people. This podcast coming out tomorrow. Mm, okay, Videos come okay, out okay, in the next right, month right. or so, so we can't spoil. We'll tell you off camera. Okay, all right. We had <laughs> we had very two very good matches. So what's the format? So we did the first one was two v two scramble. Okay. So me and Trent. Yep. Okay. Against me and Frankie. Yep. yep. Okay. And then uh, the afternoon nine we did three versus one four play versus Grant. Okay. Uh, best ball, but we got to 
all play our ball in from the best drive of our group. So shamble. Shamble. Had, yeah, shamble. Shamble, yeah, Shamble. Yeah, so had to play their own ball. Stroke right. play. Uh, uh, 1v3. Yeah, he was good. he's a good player. He's a really good player. He's good at golf. He's can, a really good player. Can you take him down? Well, yeah, he, I don't even know. I don't, I've never seen Clay's game. So back in That's Texas. Yes, he believes he could. He oh, it would be a good one. <laughs> so me and Bryson. Oh, we, yeah. He, uh, he came out to the course one day, and uh, it was me and his caddy. You know his caddy? Um, I do. I know, I know one of them, yeah. I forget his name now. But oh. me and him and uh, two other guys, and they actually beat us out there. But <laughs> it, was, it was the pros versus the Joes. And, oh, I like that. Yeah, so we took an L. But I haven't taken an L out here, though. No, <laughs> I haven't taken one out here. It's, it's a great just, spot, man. You really own this is. place. Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but... How big of an operation? You guys have a huge staff up here managing all this. So, well, we got about sixty employees. So we're still we're still new. We just opened in April. Yeah. Um. So you know, between our leadership staff and you know everybody else, we're, um, you know, we're just we're just getting started. Um, for lack of better words, we're trying to, um, you know, be one of the best public courses in the nation. Um, you know, we're we want to change how. You know, public courses are perceived and really the benefits of a public course. I mean, the, the things that we offer here for our employees are, I mean, private clubs don't even do what we do here really? for our employees. So it's a good spot, man. I, I love it here. Um, better than Texas? I'm better with, than Texas? Sorry. I, lo I love both of them. If you ask my wife, she'll say Texas. <laughs> <laughs> my wife is the same. Yeah, my wife loves yeah. Texas. Yeah. That's so we, we just moved here in January, so we're still getting our, our feet under us and stuff. Yeah. But uh, so far, so good. I got no complaints. Yeah, this place is special. It's really it cool. It really is. Nice. I, uh, it's a great hang. Yeah. Well Food's built. Good. Food's we're great. On the podcast. Yeah. yeah, we didn't eat it all today, no. so we're just hounding down some chips. Yeah, we, we couldn't help it. But no, this is, uh, yeah, it's funny. Like, we, we've we thought a lot, you know, like if we were in charge of building something from scratch, it's like a golf facility, what would you focus on? What would you want it to look like? What would you try to highlight? What would you include? And I come here, I'm like, oh, they've got all of it and more. You've got the snag. Like, I even, I didn't even know what that was. And that's, a, that's an amazing call and to have all the different pathways it's almost like when you go to like a really impressive ski mountain or something it's where they got like the bunny hill they've got the greens they've got the blues and people can kind of ease their way into it from all kinds of different skill levels and ages and everything yet you've got the fun the open concept we were out there on maybe the 11th hole or something one of the holes was coming back this way and we were pretty far away and i could hear the place buzzing i could like hear the music i, I could hear people chatting and i was like okay this place has some energy which yeah, is yeah. so friday nights here i mean before we shut down the range, but I know when it opens back up, like Friday nights, Saturday nights, I mean, it's it's the place to be. Um, Amazing. You know, it's with the music going out there, the lights. Um, my plan one day, I'm, we're going to have DJ out here. It's going to be it's going to be lit. So. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna, Unreal. We're gonna we got to come back. Yeah, we got to come back. Yeah, y'all are welcome. Come back anytime. We appreciate y'all coming it, out. Man, man um, I know y'all tried to get out before and then, you know, we couldn't get you out then, but I'm glad y'all came out this time and it was a great got experience. to see the course. And, uh, you know, if there's anything we could do for y'all, you know, we're, we're here to support you guys too. So really appreciate it, man. Yeah. I flew in this morning, six minutes from the airport. Yeah. Yeah. Right I, there by the airport. Like got ready for golf in New York at 7 a.m. And I was okay. just on the tee, I was on the tee box at 12. Right. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a really cool spot that you have here. Thank you. Very yeah. Cool. yeah dude. Clay, thanks, awesome. man. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having us. Yeah. And yeah, people got to come out here. We're in, is this Jupiter technically? No, West, West Palm. Palm Beach. West Palm Beach. West Palm Beach. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're right by the West airport. Palm. West Palm Beach. I'm hearing planes <laughs> coming in. Yeah. Uh, West Palm Beach Airport. Oh, Florida all kind of blends together to me, right, to be honest. Right. So, sorry. It's not, South, Florida. Yeah. South Florida. South Florida. South Florida. Yeah, I mean, it's just flat. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for having us. We thank appreciate it. And uh, and yeah, people are in town. Come by the park. It's amazing. Thank you, guys. Thanks, man. Thank you. Have a go. Appreciate it. Your hair may grow fast, but after going to Sport Clips haircuts, you're going to wish it grew even faster. It's because the experience is so good. It's the MVP experience. You got to have it. You're watching the game. They got all kinds of streaming going on. A hot towel will change your day. It's yeah. really amazing. You know? Yeah. You get you throw a hot towel at me at any point, and Sport Clips, they do it a lot. It just turns your day around. Puts it in a better direction. It's surprising that they don't do hot towels more in life. In I, I'll take a hot towel... As long as I know where the water came from, <laughs> I'll, take a, I'll take a hot towel pretty much whenever I can get Would one. Would you take a hot towel at a restaurant?
Yeah. You're sitting yeah. there as you're getting your order or as yeah. you're putting in your order. A guy comes over, maybe puts a hot towel on you, says, what would you like for dinner? Like your waiter does it. Oh, yeah. Oh, sometimes take a sometimes as, as a guy as a guy who has oh, sat in first class on an airplane, sometimes they'll bring you a hot towel in first class and you're like, this is living. It's incredible. The people back there, they don't get hot towels, but maybe I got one right now. Hibachi places will sometimes start you off with a hot towel. I think I actually think it should become commonplace at restaurants. Hot towels. A nice steakhouse will do it after like the salad portion of the meal. They bring like a nice hot, nice hot. You know towel. who? You know who definitely does it? Who? Sport clips. That's oh, right. God, that's a great point. Sport clips. You can check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. So come watch an endless stream of sports on TV while getting an awesome haircut from the pros in men's hair. Sport clips. It's a game changer. Grant, we got to get into a little bit with um, with you and uh, and this TaylorMade oh, yeah. relationship. Thank you, bro. We're teammates at Team TaylorMade. Yeah, it was a big deal when we heard about it. Yeah, huge deal. They crazy. were super excited uh, leading up to that announcement. Uh, we were hearing rumblings that they were grabbing two big fish, and they had you uh, as one of them. And uh, so, how'd that all come to be? Like, was that one of your big reasons for like doing your own thing? Like, you knew you were going to have stuff like this? Yeah. So. I actually had no idea about TaylorMade when mm. I left. Um, when I stepped away, it was just like, there's a period where it's like, okay, what do we do? Scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, okay. Um, so, and then when TaylorMade kind of came and we heard about that, like as an option, I was like, wow, like that's that's something that I think with the collabs and, and the opportunities through TaylorMade could be unbelievable. Yep. And yeah that announcement video all that was really cool i remember that that was wild at the kingdom like thinking about you know all the drafts we had like how we exactly wanted to announce it and we just knew it was gonna crush like oh, yeah. right. with everything going on and it was pretty cool like i just rem that was like a crazy time in my life coming out to carlsbad uh right by the kingdom and filming that and like i wanted tiger's bag next to mine like i wanted to do it right you know oh, yeah um yeah it was just it was wild. How That's was it. your transition into the the clubs? Have you ever, always played Taylor Mades or was this a whole no, new world No, I never for played Taylor Mades. Never so played. So this transition into their clubs was a brand new world. A whole new thing. And wow. I think throughout the bag. And you're playing the best golf of your life? Is that what I heard? The best golf of my life. And I'm playing the P770s, which are, which are more forgiving. They're thicker. And like my friends will look down at them and be like, wow, you're playing like a thick iron. I can't believe you're playing that. They would think I'd be playing like the MCs or MBs. I tried the TWs. I tried them all. I love the P770s. You looking down at the 770s being like, this baby's a little thick is nuts. It speaks to how good you are. <laughs> Very yeah. funny. I would, have you looked down at mine? I mean, I got the stealths, which I love. They're great for guys <laughs> like the stealth me. HDs? No, oh, just, the just the stealth. Okay. I had a couple of stealth HDs in there, but I mean, if you look down at mine, you'd be like, this is this isn't something. I remember asking Trotty, I was <laughs> this like, isn't something. I remember asking Trotty, I was like, well, who the heck would play these like stealth HDs? And he's like, you know, Trent? Trent <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, that was like, your boy. Like, He's perfect for it. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. They That's are. Incredible. I mean, they're pretty incredible. Scotty Scheffler hit one of mine, and he was like, I like this thing. Yeah. He liked it as like a driving iron. Dude, he hit it. No, it could work as a driving iron. He yep, hit one for of his sure. HD, like five irons. I swear to God, this thing went 300 yards. It was. Scotty hit it? Yep. Yeah. It was launched. So have you, you've been able to hang with a lot of those guys, like on Team TaylorMade? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's been good. You know, once a year, really, which you'll experience this year, is they get them all together for the media day. And those guys are awesome just being able to try new things with you and try out all the new clubs and you come up with different ideas and creative ways to show off their new equipment. And that was one of the days. It was a stealth HD. So they're going to have new equipment for us on in November. Yep. Oh yep. Yeah. They're like a new driver and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's oh, very, man. It's, it's very really like, cool. It's oh, very locked down. Gosh. There's like nothing on your phones. Don't post anything. And oh, they'll be super like, they'll be super like, um, wow. it's proprietary. They you love just showing it, it off. Like, See, you know, I'm, I'm such like a, I love like all the different clubs. Oh, like, they'll slowly dude, open up like a, oh. they'll, they'll have like a black head cover on it oh. and they'll slowly just take it off. And you're like, Oh my get God. Get the reaction. And then you yep. get the guy that like comes from the engineering team kind of. That oh, and he explains it. Gap. Yeah, he's yeah. like, all right, fellas, he does a whole production. This is basically an airplane and he's like, here. We want, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. This new technology is something we've been working yeah. on for over 20 years in the golf industry. And then he'll pull it off. Like Frankie said, and all yeah. of a sudden you're like, give me that thing. I the thing that blew right our minds in one year was they said that they had for the stealth, they had like, 
13 sound technicians to make sure it sounded the right way. Like they leave no stone unturned when it oh, comes dude, to that. Type Taylor made does it right. They and do. Especially they're like from a social media perspective and how they run Instagram and how they run the big platforms like that. That's what I looked at. Like I wanted to see which company was doing that right. And also they have a huge following already, which is cool. So that's been amazing. Right. They've that's interesting. Like, cause I've never been to this. I'm we're going to this photo shoot. I also heard things of like, potentially being in a commercial yeah they asked me i don't know what it was with or who it was with but maybe being like a new driver commercial on tv and i was like yep they said like you have to stay there all day eight or nine hours but i'm like i'm in like that'd be so cool that'd be a dream come true there's a uh, there's a funny golf ball commercial from taylor made that we're the, in you know the stripe the, the stripe one <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. The, the tell me stripe <laughs> yeah so the commercial they flew us out the, to LA. la all day long and we were the last thing that they were going to shoot so i'm talking 7 a.m call time 7 p.m. shooting. Yeah, yeah. We're sitting there waiting for this. We're so excited. And really, the only thing that we had to do was we were standing on this tee box and we just had to, and they were filming on the green. They And they shot up at the green, at the tee box and we just had to wait. That and that, it took eight hours? It's funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's funny because, like, it's on funny. our part was just. They filmed everything else. Yeah, our part maybe took 35 minutes. We're oh, so then you guys in, were good to go. Yeah. yeah. They cut to that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, but we had to wait all day because we were clearly such a low priority. I would have to <laughs> yeah. guess. But they filmed the entire commercial and they're like, all right, if we can get these boneheads in at the end, we will. We'll just wave. And then at the end, there's just this whole commercial that's like a 30 second commercial. And the 29th second, they pan up to us and we're like this. It airs on Golf that's... Channel like every day and we get tweets about it like, was that Trent Riggs and Frankie? That's it insane. is funny. Like, it's being... a great commercial, by it the way. Is a good it is the guy's really good aligning. So, what the... is the commercial? Yeah. He's yeah. lining up the stripe ball on the tee box. Is it a random guy? Yeah, and he's like, and you can hot see the line like shooting out like it's a video game, like it's a tracer. So he's moving the stripe ball, and as he moves the ball right to left, the tracer in real time is moving. Mm. So it's showing it like a video game kind of. So then he hits it onto the green, and he's aligning his putt, and you're seeing the line. And all of a sudden, like, something hits him, like a ray of light hits him, and it's us on the tee box, like hitting a ball into him, but he saw like the ray of light and he's like, looks up and we're like, hi, it's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous <laughs> awesome. commercial. I can't believe I haven't seen yeah. that. Yeah, I it's funny that. Seeing I'm like... sure they'll have you with like Tiger Woods this year. <laughs> I heard some, I actually heard some crazy stuff and I don't know if I'm allowed to even talk about it. Probably but... not. Yeah. yeah. Off air, we're going to cool, talk a little bit about it. I heard some cool commercial ideas. So that's exciting. Would be special. I'm looking forward to that more than anything. Cause you know, signing with Taylor made the collab opportunities was my number one. You ever, uh, you ever talked to the T man, T Dubs? I have. Eldrick? I have. Yeah. In what yeah. capacity? What are you say? In what capacity? I said. <laughs> I've been able to. Yeah, I've been able to meet him. Yeah. Yeah. He's a awesome guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I won't. I'm not gonna say too much. Okay. okay. I just keep it low key. But awesome um, guy. Yeah. I, Definitely think he's a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. I do think he's a this nice guy. This guy's doing some of the cool. Yeah, you've you've actually like you. I've seen videos of you. We all yeah we have like we. He we, called him his brother. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, he gave me a big dap up. Brought me in for a it was hug. Riggsy boy, my me, brother. Called That's me awesome. his brother. He melted my brain one time at Pebble Beach. Asked me where I was stationed. Didn't have an answer for him. <laughs> he just froze. He, yeah. I mean I don't know. I still don't have an answer. He I just, was. I'm probably still thinking this, about your answer. I have no. Oh, idea. If he asked me again, I still wouldn't know. None of us know. I didn't say a word. He, um, no. I'm prying at him because he, this guy's done some of the coolest shit in golf. You know, I know Grant Horvat's that guy. <laughs> You're becoming that guy, man. You're doing Appreciate some big it. time shit. And yeah, you know, I'm what's gonna... interesting we were talking about in the cart. We're talking about all this YouTube golf stuff. Your team is very small. Yeah. Cause I was saying to you how obviously we got great guys behind the scenes. We were able to pull out these incredible productions like Alex the Ryder Bush. cup, Alex Bush, Brennan Jones, Kyle Timms, Jared, like, but your team is very small. You said it was like two or three people, just two of us. And I got two managers. Just me and Skyler. No way. Yeah. That's, That's impressive. The guy who we saw today is your only guy. Only guy. He videos and edits everything. So what shout out sicko. to Sky. I really it's like that guy. Unbelievable what he's doing. And I like to keep it that way. I don't want too many. I mean, I think eventually I want to build a team. I, I want to expand because I want to have a, you know, people working on one channel like we are teaching channel. I want to be able to like divert the work. Sure. But I really do think it's it's good to just have me and and sky and working hard and we're definitely looking would you ever people. expand the, the content team like add people towards to are you ever going to create a brand or is always just going to is your is your name the brand going forward do you think i've definitely thought about bringing in some characters yeah i have some um i definitely have some on the radar right um not right now i think right now i love 
collabing and then also like i said i have my solo videos yep which i love to film and like i'm gonna go do one at tpc sawgrass coming up where i try and make the cut at the players it's like a whole hypothetical thing like i start you know on the cut line see if i can hang around yeah i love it um so like i like the solo videos there and then i like to collab and i think that's a good balance definitely um but having like different characters is very powerful yep. having multiple people i just think it's an interesting thing because i was a part right. with a lot of characters and yeah i know how it is I'm different everyone's got different you know outlooks on how things should be and i think you're very powerful in number but they're also a lot of different opinions so if you had to make one prediction about the youtube golf world over the next say three years what would it be one prediction i think it becomes the biggest platform youtube golf yeah i think youtube golf potentially becomes as big as the pga tour and i think it could be the biggest platform because if you look now at how many people watch golf on youtube i think it's like some crazy number i think it's like 12 11 million 11 or 12 million yeah. i'm pretty sure 11 million like all-time golf viewers or something that's what yeah. I, actually it was rick telling me that um so that's a lot and i think it's so easy to access i mean that's a bold claim on my end sure could be wrong i would say I it's going to be the new i think it's going to be the new thing unless um, well you i don't think see, it's that crazy well yeah. you can see it too and we either. were talking about this too great in the cart where even the PJ Tour players are building their own YouTube pages. Yeah. Bryson has one. I know Phil's doing a lot of this. Like, mm -hmm. it's the guys. They're going to see the value behind it eventually. Absolutely. I mean, to be completely honest, like, they're coming on channels like ours to film videos that get millions of views, and they're going to look at it and be like, why don't we just do this with ours and monetize it? That's what, That's what everyone thinks. And Akshay, he yeah. started a channel. Yes. Filmed with him a ton. Yeah. He went and started one, and I think they – like, what happens when – what I've noticed with just YouTube golf in general, whether it's a guy that's just a good golfer, it could have, he could be a no name. They see how easy it can be to start a YouTube channel. And I think to just like, if you have someone on the channel, say a new person, it almost inspires them right away to like, I'm going to go try and do this. If he can do that and it's that easy, just talking to the camera, I can do it. Yeah. And I've seen this happen a million times and I've seen it happen so much recently with like everywhere you look, everyone's trying to, be a golf influencer yep like it's just crazy like i'm seeing kids that i grew up with i'm seeing people i play junior golf with it's like everybody and it's just like i think it's because of how easy they see it is i mean it's not that easy when you get into the youtube space i feel like that's where it starts to get a little trickier is building a youtube platform versus like an instagram reel and tiktok that's easy quick but youtube i feel like maybe takes a little bit of time it yeah does. it's not necessarily easy uh to be to grow a, a big audience and be consistent but it is easy like you're saying from like a barrier to entry standpoint so you get a camera yeah. you get somebody who knows how to edit to some degree and you can put out a decent video yeah that looks decent and you know not that different but it's hard yeah way. it's hard to build that organic youtube audience that cares about what you're doing i think that's what's hard Yep. Like yeah. to build a following that is actually not just numbers based on Instagram or TikTok, but it's like real. You feel it like on YouTube and because that's long form. If you're getting someone to watch a video, if you have a 50 minute long video and you get them retained for 25 minutes, that's 25 minutes of average watch time that they're watching you and that they're connecting with you for 25 minutes, which is stunning. So you're, high. you're in their brain. You're ingrained. Which is like crazy to think about, right? Like Twitter, you know, TikTok. It's not like yeah, they, they half swipe. A second. Yeah, they swipe. It's right. like oh, it's a viral video. Quick, boom. They they saw you, but they're not like actually like. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. It is the hardest Trent, thing for one sure. Of Trent's breaking nineties, I think, had like a forty minute average watch time. It's insane. Forty that minutes. Nuts. Remember, it hit like thirty nine. When I was it like, how long was it? It was like an hour long video. Every, just like everyone that had watched that's it crazy. watched the whole thing. It that was, is it was nuts. crazy. If it's 40 minutes, that's insane because the YouTube championship, the first one with Bob and Joey and them commentating and FP playing, that was two hours and 40 minutes. And I think it had a 50 minute watch. Time. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. And that's with them commentating. So you have an A and B story. Yep. Yeah. You have them kind of holding the audience totally. and us also behind the scenes right mine is all golf. story it's it's you have to get to the end to see if he's going to do it right so that's that's awesome you have to you right cannot watch that and video break and like leave. there's breaking 70 75 there's a ton of breaking series yeah but 90s 
That's an. I feel like more people right. are probably trying to break ninety in the world totally. than seventy and seventy-five. We, I've you know? said this a million times. I mean, we have uh, definitely found that the worse you are, the more people watch. And now for the breaking series, it's different. They want to see you improve, and they will start to get mad at you if you're not improving. But largely, like they don't like if you want to watch somebody go out there and shoot sixty-five. There is that on the PGA Tour that you can watch. So exactly. you have to, and like you have a great personality, right? So you, you, you need both. You need both. I think what's special too. So I just went to Bermuda with there's six of us. Um, we were on a group tr- group trip to Bermuda. Now we all film for our, our individual channels, but it was me, Wesley, Brian, George, Brian, Busta, Jack, mm-hmm. and Micah, and that six of us together. It's like quality golf that and energy. There's energy because we can all like give it to each other. No one gets offended. Like we really give it to each other. And there's like a lot of trash talking, but also it's a level of golf that like it's insane. Cause you got yeah. Wesley Bryan, a PGA tour winner. You have George Bryan. Then you have Micah who just like kills it and also can get really hot. You have myself and you have Mason and Cole, which are both scratch golfers. So everybody scratch. Then we do these YouTube championships you know the scores are going to be good. Yep. Right. And But definitely, like, Wesley and George are better than all of us. There's levels to within that. There's levels. Yeah. But that's been really cool. The six of us together filming YouTube golf content and doing, like, 2v2v2s, 3v3s, because then it's like you can mix the teams up, and it's really fun. Yeah. Because yeah. groups are something special about a group. When you're celebrating together yep. versus oh, by yeah. yourself. Get into the game with the Bleacher Report sports add-on on Max. I love Max, by the way. I use Max all the time. All the time. Uh, now, you get the sports add-on, the Bleacher Report sports add-on. Stream select live games from the MLB postseason, the NBA, NHL, U.S. men's and women's soccer, and NCAA men's March oh, Madness. Wow. I noticed this the other day, actually. Yeah. It's so stunning that we have an ad read for this because I was on Max. Max was my go-to if I want to see a movie. Mm-hmm. I go to Max first. I don't know about you guys. I have all the streaming platforms. Yeah. Max, something about Max. I hold HBO to like a really high standard. Sure. When it comes to movies. And they've always curated, I think, the best movies out of all the other streaming platforms. So when I'm going through my list of like, what am I going to watch tonight? If if a movie is what I crave, I hit Max first every single time. So I did that the other night. And all these games were on. And I was I sat there just like befuddled. No, yeah, there was even. NHL. There was a Pittsburgh Penguins game on there, and then a baseball game. I'm like, what is happening right now? Well, let me go. answer your befuddlement. BR Sports add-on included for a limited time with any Max subscription after the promotional period. Add BR Sports starting at nine ninety nine a month. Base subscription required. Sign up now at max.com/sports. That's max.com/sports. How has Micah been doing since the whole split up as well? So he's he's been doing good. I, I actually live with Micah. Really? Yeah, here in Jupiter. Wow. Um, he actually just got a place away from me. We, we lived the last like year together. Oh, wow. Um, which has been awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, Micah's a great guy, and we've gotten really close and spent a lot of time together. He's kind of – he's still doing YouTube. Yep. Um, I know he was trying to go for pro. Like he was, he was trying to do pro content on the minor league tour, and he was really trying to play in a lot of events and – shift his content towards that um but he's still doing youtube golf i mean yeah it's been good How, where did his game is he still trying to pursue that dream of I, making yeah. it i think he is 100 percent. i think um it is something that i hear him talk about a lot i think he really does want to go pro and i mean it's funny we went to the kingdom and when trotty watched him hit he broke every number on like track man yeah that like Trotty didn't care about me like, hey, and I, I love Trotty, but like, <laughs> I'm not like when Trotty Mike, gets his eye on something and he's like, I'm really into this. He blocks everything else. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I was just he's over great. there kind of skank. I wasn't even hitting it good. I was hitting crappy little fat shots and thin shots. And <laughs> Micah was having a great day of ball striking and just pounding his driver at the kingdom. And he's a little guy and he's like the most genetically blessed person like I've ever like he's ripped. And for his size, I think he's one of the longest hitters on on the planet. Wow. Like it's crazy. When he we, catches one, he's 340. We talked to Trotty, I think like the day after you guys had been there. I saw that him. podcast. Yeah. And he's I saw like, the whole this thing. Guy is out of Because he, he was like backing him up towards, like he was basically just stretching the yeah. kingdom as far as it could go. 
And Mike is faster than Rory, and he's probably shorter than Rory. That's nuts. That's that makes like no Mike sense. Like Mike is, to me. and he's ripped, dude. Like he's, he's huge. He's like me. Some yeah, he's, he's a little bit. Yeah, ripped. I'm a little more ripped, but yeah. Yeah, I think you got him by a little bit. <laughs> you got some power there. <laughs> <laughs> you know. No, yeah, he Mike is a stud. Mike yeah. is really. He just got a. You know, he's not played a ton of tournament golf. Um, so I think he's going to, I mean, that's like a maturing process tournament golf in general. You got to play tons and like George been doing it for so long. And yeah. like now George is someone that he's unbelievable to watch play golf. Like he's really good. Cause I've played with, I've been able to play with a lot of tour pros and George is one of the best golfers I've played with. Really? He's yeah. just getting to tournament golf. Oh, the best, he's the best driver of the golf ball I've ever watched. Really? Yeah. In what way? Stick straight. He will not miss a fairway. George Bryant. Like he's the last like three events he's played in Q school, he won. Like he's won almost like every event. <laughs> he's shooting like twelve under, but like he'll go out here today and I promise you he will not miss a fairway. Like it is stick straight. <laughs> and he has more stability through impact than me. Like oh his God. his body works way better than mine because I get a little handsy at the bottom. He's like rotating, holding the face, and it's like it's sickening because in Wesley is a little more sporadic, but Wesley has like one of the best short games. But yeah, George Bryan is like crazy good. At when do those videos come out that you guys just filmed? Like how long is that turnaround going to take? Oh, they're coming out this week. Wow. We just dropped the hole in one today. So that that's guys, impressive. Maybe some people saw that on Instagram. We just dropped that clip. That's that called. video clip is it's perfect. Yeah, he called it's it what you want in YouTube golf. Yeah, it's every part of it. Cause you showed it to me and I was like, that's perfect. Yeah, it's you guys got to check it out. We just we uploaded it today. Yeah, we all it. collabed yeah. on it. It was pretty cool. He made a hole in one. He like called it. And he like walked through it. He's like, I'm going to show you guys the perfect shot. No and way. like, all you got to do is he's like, push your glasses up, step <laughs> into it, and it's he unreal. like, and it's like in the air, it bounces once. He's like, oh, hole in one, and it just goes. It's like <laughs> really, <laughs> it's like tracking, and it goes in, and we all run like crazy. <laughs> I'm not when I say it's the perfect shot it's perfect it was the perfect video no yeah. way yes what are we talking about here it's so good you gotta watch it no you gotta see it oh we can watch Bermuda. it right now yeah watch it pull it up which uh which hole which course do you remember um so it's actually it's funny because it was on brian bros tv which yeah. is their secondary channel we were having just a it. fun video it was on this par three course in bermuda it's 145 yards so it's like a nine iron right here, pause a little bit. No way. watch that yeah you gotta He's a need to rotate. Now watch this. Listen to this. Watch how this ball hits. Yeah. Perfect camera work too, whoever that was. See, he says hole in one. Right about a hole in one. Oh my god. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? We I, probably the most embarrassing thing about us, and there's a bunch of them, I'm sure, is that we've been doing this, we've been doing the YouTube thing for a few years now. Not even not even close to a hole in one. No, we didn't have any good clips. Never not even one, one. Not I've a lip out, not nuts. nothing. Never had one. Oh. That is I mean, crazy. I was wrong with you. Good, good. I was in good, good when Matt made his hole in one on a par four. And he made his hole in one on a par three. And I'm like, how have I never made a hole in one? You got to be so close. You must have been I've had so a double eagle. I've had a double eagle. Okay. Never had a hole in one, That's though. But more impressive, honestly. Yeah, Matt's hole in one on the par four was the crit. Like, when people ask me, like, what's the craziest video ever? Like, that's has 100%. To be. Has to be. It will yeah. never be topped. Can't be. How I don't was believe that it can be topped. 285, oh. 280. Um, but what's crazy is when we got up to that tee box, um, Bubby went first, hits it on the green. Micah hits the pin from 280. Mm. It hits the pin, and then Matt holds it. And I know probably everyone watching this has seen that. Mm -hmm. um, it's all over. It's just like it was on like ESPN. Was it? it was everywhere. I think it was. I think it was, it was everywhere. everywhere. And we that's like I think that also made that probably had to help YouTube golf a ton. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because like I feel like that's when I remember just a lot of people saying like that's when they started watching Good Good was Matt's hole in one. Like what, there we already had a pretty big following, but yeah. like that's when it like really amped up. It's amazing what one shot can do. It really is. It's amazing what like those are three shots. Right. Right. Like that was just. And people are thinking it's fake because like then you got Tom Brady. I think he went out and did that thing and like drone oh, shot. Yeah. Obviously, that's fake. Like it's right. like a CGI thing. I forgot about the Tom Brady um, thing. And I feel like that just like hurts. That makes us look like Matt's hole in one was fake, which we had seven camera guys, which is <laughs> right. just crazy that they went up to the green for that video. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you guys don't usually, you're 
you usually wouldn't have that many camera guys, right? No, yeah, and that's the same thing with Garrett's albatross he made um, on the on we was that die preserve here in Florida. He put that big old cut hybrid rider. He's like, "You're messing with me, rider," because it was really weird. I hit the drive. We we're doing alternate shot, and it, like we took my drive. So Garrett's hitting our second shot into this par five, and right before we like we he's about to hit the shot, we say, "Rider, why don't you go up to the green?" Which we never say that. Like we usually were just, it was a blind shot. So you couldn't see it go in. So the fact that Ryder went up there and like waited and then went up there and like got up on the mound and panned to Garrett's hole out was just like, it made no sense. Like In your own happened. ways, you've had these moments that have like kept you guys like into the main, like getting thrown into the mainstream with these huge videos, right? And like, that's what elevates you aside from your already good content. It's similar to like the Barstool Rise where we always say that Dave always had like, Dave Porter would always have one thing that would happen to him every year, or every couple of years. He that made was it. Just like, how is that even real? Like, like the gods are looking over this guy. The right. fact that the Patriots became the best football team ever and they have a dynasty. And then the Red Sox broke a 100 year curse. And this guy's writing a blog in Boston about Boston sports. Like, what are the odds of that? And then every single year, something else happened that just kept this guy getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You guys are out there filming golf videos. You're making hole in ones on par fours. You never have guys up on the green, but that was the one time you did. You're making an yeah, albatross. Right. You never have a guy in the green, but because it was a blind shot, you did. It's like, you got to be around magic. being like, what the we got fucking me and Trent just shanking wedges around here. We got no magic going on around here. Yeah, you got a little magic. Got a little something got some magic. magic. No, I know. I'm saying I need it. a hole in one. Oh yeah. yeah. But aside from the joke, it's amazing that that's yeah. happening. You know, it's crazy. I got to do some. <laughs> I've, I've been a part of it all. George has had that hole in one, and like I'm yeah, waiting. You've been, but it's gonna happen. Like I'm confident. Well, that's the best part. I've been, no one's fabricating it, so you have to. Wait, if you have to, I'm wait waiting 10, for it. Yeah, wait ten years. You gotta wait ten years. It's fine. It makes it better. I just can't wait until I have hold one. It's funny. The other day we were filming. I was doing a video with Bob, which is coming out this week. Where Bob started twenty under par versus me, eighteen holes stroke play. Wow. So if Bob starts twenty under par, can he beat me? Basically, that kind of video, eighteen okay. hole video. Okay. And we got up to this one hole. It was Skyler. This was Skyler. Bob hits it. This on a par three. And. It airmailed the green by like 40 yards. But when we when we, when he hit it, like we didn't know. I didn't even really know. It looked like it, but I was like, there's a chance it could have gone in because it just disappeared. And we're like, where'd it go? Did it go in? It was over top of the flag. Skyler got up to the green before Bob and oh, went up no. to the hole. And Bob's like walking up and Sky goes oh, like this and like just did that little bit no. to Bob. And Bob like, you know how Bob is. Like he, he gets going. Oh, yeah. And he like for a second went like this and he, oh i was he was actually like mad at sky <laughs> he was like actually mad at uh -huh. sky he was like you can't do that that was bad you can't because he was ready like bob would have jumped into the pond like 100%. he would have lost his mind if he got a hole in one dude there's a so at piners the cradle the third hole on the cradle oh yeah part three which oh, yeah. frankie has a hole in one on uh -huh. uh, the punch bowl okay. green and oh, there's yeah. the bar behind it and all oh, the yeah. adirondack chairs and like two years ago we do the barstool classic which is like our tournament series that we don't really like film we do a lot of social stuff but it's for like all the fans anybody in the world can sign up and play and then we do a championship and we did the championship at pinehurst and we were doing the day before we were doing a fun like par three game right and there was one guy in the whole group who was just kind of like drunk being like an asshole to people right he was just kind of like whatever being a prick here and there being a prick here and there and they're like whispers around it going on so that guy ends up getting onto the tee on the third hole uh -huh. and we had a hundred people around the green yeah, yeah. and at the bar and it's a blind shot so you can't see right and our boy za who is our zimbabwean little person at barstool sports mm -hmm. who has got more energy than ever anybody ever he had was like there's the fucking asshole and he was like there's a guy and he goes when this guy hits give it a second and we're gonna fake a whole one and go nuts and so this guy hits this shot up there, and we timed it perfectly. And he was we like went, a decent oh. shot, like a half decent yeah, shot. Yeah, like a pretty decent <laughs> shot that was like looked pretty solid. And he Dude, and then that is goes genius. Oh, oh. And we went a hundred people go crazy, and the guy goes nuts. He's throwing his clubs, and him and his group were playing. It was like eight some or something. And his group ended up coming up, and as he gets like towards us, I was like, "We faked it, we faked it," <laughs> and the guy was rattled like he didn't handle it well at all he was pissed he was like you gotta be fucking 
kidding me? And like lost his mind. Oh, I can't was, like that's almost like it was too far. Dude. It was amazing. Yeah, we, oh, I mean it was probably is. ninety seconds ago. I thought he had a whole <laughs> Yeah, of course. And <laughs> Yeah, I remember actually a, t- a couple times in Google we did that. I don't know if it's like to Bobby or someone, but like he had a shot and we'd like, we moved his ball an inch away from the pin and we like sat it right there, but we like, we'd mark it. It was like 40 feet away. Yeah. But it was a blind shot and we'd like moved it this close to the pin. So when he got up, he started and we're like, no, your ball's back there. <laughs> we did that a couple times. But that, like that would, <sighs> that's hilarious. To Dude, me. I remember one time in Australia, we, I, it was a par three and I hit the pin. It didn't go in. But it was the one time in history where our guy didn't hit the camera on. Yeah, he wasn't yep. recording. He wasn't recording. And I, we always think about if I had made a hole in one there and it, the camera wasn't Tasmania. on. Tasmania. I don't know what happens. Like, yeah, it has to be on camera. Well, that's that's like FP just made a hole in one at the that's right. Breezy Invitational. Yeah. He was, I played in that. We actually won it. Okay. Me and, me and oh, a couple yeah, guys. That. It was awesome. Wow. Great, great um, tournament. And... FP was hitting tee shots on one hole all day for each group. But the fact that, you know, he made that, but they didn't have it on video, but they got his, like him running out was so funny. And <laughs> I, I really mean, if they funny. had that on video, it would have been way, I feel like way better. It like yeah. scares me to the point where I think even when casual rounds are happening, like we should film every par three. Yep. That like needs to be a rule in our circle. I was out with my buddies like a couple months ago and I hit one to like, three inches mm-hmm. and i remember looking around being like thank god that didn't go in i know <laughs> yeah i know i look I at really is that person way. on that tee box and i said if that went not. in i would have probably like thrown and listen at someone's i get people listening right now who are like that's crazy you get a hole in one it's it's all if you get one in our line of work you get a hole in one and it's not on camera might as well not even talk it's about worst it case it's funny I, I wouldn't tell anybody i would just take it i wouldn't my grave. i uh the yeah, closest hole in one i've had was actually off camera and it was with christian polisic he has a house down here in Jupiter. Oh, wow. Incredible. Great guy. Good friend. And it was me, Christian Polisic, and friend, my wow. buddy, Henry. And we went out and played one day just for fun. Like, I like to play off camera. Sure. I'm like going out. I don't want to have to record everything. Yep. And it was like the one time we weren't rolling, and I'm not even kidding you, it was on the edge. Oh. That close. I'd kick just it away. Hitting, and that's like the closest I've come all year, last don't couple. Don't go in. Don't go in. Don't go in. Made me so sad, but. It was good because if it would have gone in, I would still be sad to this day. Yeah, that's I true. My whole <laughs> we have, uh, you know, we've referenced a lot about good, good, and obviously you're doing your own thing. Where's that relationship at right now? I'd be crazy not to ask. Like I know yeah. a lot of people. I know myself. Like when that first happened, that was huge news. Like you did like a explanation video, right, on YouTube. Was that? And then yeah, they yeah, did yeah. One felt like TMZ. This was. I felt like I was watching legit drama on on youtube golf like that was a crazy time yeah now where are we at now how has it all gone down yeah i mean um i went to matt matt's wedding i still talk with matt a lot um matt's like a really good friend talked with garrett a lot um still talk with all the other guys too a little bit here and there but but yeah i mean we're kind of just doing our own things now i feel like it's definitely not where it used to be but it's still like we still talk which is which is good. I mean, you can't always have it perfect in life, and um, and I understand both sides, and I understand everyone's opinions on it all. Like it's, I've I've heard every opinion under the sure. sun, sure. and it was it was a crazy time. Especially leaving. as a guy that's plugged in, like you said, you don't you don't miss stuff. Like you, oh you know, yeah, you know what's going on and what people are. Well, saying. I tried I tried to stay off my phone during that time because yeah, that was like that was wild. Like I've talked about it on a couple of their podcasts, but yeah, that was a crazy time that announcement i remember going on my phone TikTok and like scrolling it was just like montages of like sad music over me and i was like i didn't die like i'm like, i'm okay like yeah i don't know but <laughs> i understand like i understand um and it was yeah it was a tough time and i still love running into all like the good good fans and like anytime someone's wearing good good merch i run up to them and i'm like dude i love it like at the tournament the other day i was a lot of good good merch out there and i love seeing it like the hole in one polo run up to everyone that's wearing it and like i love the outfit because i do i think i still yeah love i good, noticed good. it today there were people a couple good good the head covers and stuff and oh, you yeah. were like spotting it you're like oh there's a good good head cover there and like saying hi to people and stuff so oh yeah that's interesting to me that like that's clearly such a big part of like everything you've been but you must be a it must feel like such freedom to just be doing your own thing yeah and i mean like i said like 
I think Prime, like, really, like, cr on a back and I don't even know. Not Prime. I don't, I don't say that. But, like, good, good back a year and a half ago, two years ago even. I just remember it was, just cr like, it was nothing. Like, the fan meetups were so crazy. We did a couple of those. Um, we did one of those, actually. Um, man, when was it? Oh, we did one in Chicago. And there was like a thousand people that showed up. And <laughs> I just remember <laughs> like the energy there was just nuts. And it was something I'll never, never forget. Um, That's crazy. Just having, you know, in Chicago, like I, I remember telling, I think it was Trent earlier, like the difference in Chicago fan meetup and like a UK fan meetup with Rick, there were still a thousand people at both of them. But <laughs> Chicago, they got some like crazy energy, like wild grabbing you yeah. and like more aggressive. UK, they're like sitting over to the side, arms crossed. May I please, may I please take a picture? Like very, very <laughs> nice and just polar opposite, which is crazy. But yeah, no, I, I think it was, it's great. Like it's the YouTube golf space being a part of that. And it was a different it's such a different world than what we're living in it really is and we really stumbled but, upon it but dave talks about it a lot with what he does like he's like a super 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 famous one of the most famous people on the internet and people's reactions to him are crazy they want to take selfies and they want to see him and they're waiting outside of the restaurants that he's in but then he goes and sees like a brianna chicken fry this girl brianna that works for barcel massive superstar but she's like in that TikTok younger demographic world and they she can't walk anywhere. She, anywhere. she does these meetups, and I was talking to security guard Mike, and he's like, "Bro, I've never seen anything like it in my life." Yeah, he goes What's like, "Brianna, Brianna Chicken Fry is her name Brianna on TikTok." Chicken Fry. Yeah. You know who Zach Bryan is? She's dating yeah. Zach Bryan now. She's dating. They're dating. Okay, gotcha. Um, Dave has I heard that name. Plan Dave has Bree. A, she got yeah, a podcast. Plan She's Bree. on BFS with Dave and Josh Richards. She's everywhere. Does Dave man. golf at all? He, Not really. He no. He plays like once a year. He played in the Ryder Cup with us. Oh, he um, just doesn't play much ever. Yeah, he, like, he, he kind of likes golf. Like he likes major. He likes the majors. He loves when people collapse. It's like his favorite. Thing <laughs> we did a video world. once with him where he um, <laughs> he got unlimited mulligans at Shinnecock right before the U.S. Open uh -huh. to see if he could win the U.S. Open with unlimited mulligans. Yeah, we got into a huge debate on yeah. the show, and the debate from, was how many <laughs> from mulligans. The tip. Would you need to win the U.S. Open? And they eventually got to a point where you're arguing that like there's a certain skill level that even with unlimited mulligans, you don't possess the skill to like shoot, hit the shots. Dang. And ended up getting on Dave's radar. Dave was like, I could do it. We were like, you suck. You couldn't do it. <laughs> and then the U.S. Open, USGA weighed in and invited us to play at Shinnecock. He got five hours and 15 minutes to finish. And we agreed that if he could post under par from the tips, we would concede that he could win the U.S. Open. Didn't he, do it. It's two under. He shot four under. Four, four, under. four under. under. Yeah. He shot four under. He took like 366 mulligans. Frankie was his caddy. Dude, I had just shag bags at him. <laughs> filled with just <laughs> got hundreds of golf balls, and I was just throwing them down. That's a wonderful idea. Most yeah. of them yeah. were on I actually, the green. I, yeah, I just did a video with, like, I kind of around that. I did a video with Eric Anderson. It was one, or it was four versus 100 golfers. So they do their. <laughs> like meetups and we just did it. it's coming out soon um actually we did it like a month ago but four versus 100 and basically there's four scratch golfers versus 100 random golfers what and it was crazy because us four scratch golfers scrambled and we go play like this is a, this is a six hole or nine hole match and we would play and we almost birdie every hole it was an easy course so we're birdieing every hole but the 100 golfers they take the best drive out of a hundred drives. So they all like seven people hit at once and they'll rotate seven people, seven people. And you'll go through it real quick. And it's just like balls flying, <laughs> dude, that's balls chaos. flying. It's chaos, but it's amazing. Amazing chaos. Cause you're all walking down the fairway with a hundred people. It's beautiful. Um, <laughs> no way. And so when you get up to the green, it's amazing to see a hundred balls passing the pin <laughs> and all of them like, Whoa, this one. Oh, Oh, Oh. <laughs> And like they're missing the pin by just an inch. All these balls. So they're, they're playing their own ball. They're, they're all playing their own ball. It's a <laughs> scramble though. They're, they're scrambling though. They're okay. taking the best drive, right. taking the best approach, <laughs> taking okay. the best putt. So they automatically, every hole, they're either birding or eagling. <laughs> and it's crazy. Have you, have you ever seen the TikTok things where it's like a dragon versus 100,000 chickens and they, they kind of, they make it happen. It's like a. It's a system they run and they show what would happen. Right. You guys are doing that in real life. Exactly. Yeah, I, I see exactly. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. It was it was wild. 
But that is nuts. That's so cool. Really difficult. That's a really cool idea. Because like those are random golfers. They're most of them shoot probably nineties, a hundred. Yep. But we are all scratch golfers. They're better. So we wanted to see if we could take on four versus a hundred golfers. Wow. That's unreal. That's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. The oh. Dave thing. Most of his mulligans were putts. Gotcha. Well, what's the short? What's the shortest par five in the world? Is it like um, that the eleventh hole there? He took a lot on that one. And then it was a, he took a lot of tee shots there. Yeah. He'd be like, all right, I, I was his caddy. So I'd say, Dave, all right, stop. Like he'd hit one up near the green. And I'd say, at some point, we need to accept that shot because you're never going to get better than it. And I know we have unlimited, but we have a time limit. Once you take it, you can't take that last shot. Correct. Though. Right. You get a lot of views. Yeah. Oh, Killed yeah. It. Killed it. But that, we didn't even. We and this barely, thing that was we barely, YouTube. Six years ago. The problem up until like I would say up until a couple months ago, are, are we still putting our videos up on BarcelSports.com, or are you putting links up? Dude, millions of viewers a month. What's the number of like page Coming views from that Barstool gets? Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds a month. of thousands. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of page views on each blog. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd have to look. We get emails. It's, it's in the it's millions. Lot, yeah, I think is. for the month. It is. So we would put our videos up on BarcelSports.com and on YouTube. And I always felt like, so when that Dave video came out, that may have just been on BarcelSports.com. We, it was a, yeah, that might have done. It was called Bright Cove. Yeah. Where we, it just, it's like our True. media player on the website. It was a yeah, that might have just YouTube. only been on, on there. On Dude, I don't think Dave's mulligan thing is even on YouTube. Yeah, it might not be. No, it was the worst edit. No, I had to edit that. That was one of the worst. You had to edit it? Yeah, I forget his name. I forgot who helped me, but someone helped me with that edit, and he quit the next week. Um, well, that shows you how much he <laughs> and liked that edit. He ju- he, we were up until 6 o'clock in the morning because we had, Dave wanted it out the next day, and it was just like, just I want that. That actually would hurt. Like 300 mulligans, it needs to be out the next day. Yeah, oh, it, or the next week or whatever, yeah, and yeah. like we didn't have time. So I remember oh. just being 6 o'clock in the morning. We slept in the office, and it was just like we needed to make sure that every single uh, shot had a little ding, like on the bottom. And it was a super quick edit. It was like ding, 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 and it was like two hundred one, two hundred two, two hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. nuts. And then finally, when he used it, we would slow it down. That'd be so hard. To it was a horrible edit. We might have to throw that that file on our YouTube though. Yeah, for play back. golf, buddy. That's yeah. a that's on YouTube. Get a good thumbnail going. Oh, it's on the main YouTube. Yeah. How many views? Eight thirty three. Eight thirty three. Let's steal that. Man, we should have put that up. Put it out like it's a total brand new video. It on the on your main channel now. Can our your friend? That would work. Can our random you friend know, Dave like Portnoy our, break? Like Barcelona. Oh yeah, you could post it far back. I've ne- now it works on Instagram and TikTok. Like old, you repost old videos and they'll do well. YouTube would be an interesting one. I don't think that's ever been done. <laughs> let's we'll recycle. Do let's be like the recycle new guys. Recycle an old YouTube video. I don't I just think I've recycled. Ever. I want to see the guinea pigs on it. You guys got it. We don't care. <clears throat> Send it. That's a hey. It's a great video. I probably forgot about it. No, they didn't forget about it. But how how many years ago was that? It was 2018. Yes. U.S. Open. That's five, almost six years ago. See, yeah. if I didn't tell you about it, that you would have stumbled across it and been like, "What the hell is this?" Yeah, seriously, you should repost it on the main channel. How do I get more followers on TikTok? I recently crossed the thousand follower threshold. Um, Are you massive on TikTok? No, I'm not massive. No. Well, we looked up how many followers he has early. He's got a bunch. Okay. Yeah. Three hundred fifty thousand. That's big. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot. What do I got to do? Yeah, dude, we're such Stone Age creatures. We're like big I'm on not, Twitter. I'm not big on TikTok. Okay. I I like it. I think it's a very good platform to grow. I actually see more people posting clips from my YouTube videos and old content. Yeah. And basically t- recycling our content. So they almost do it for you. That's what we've been doing on mine where we get we, we go through old content, videos we shot eight years ago, yeah. put it up, and people have no idea when it was filmed. And they're just like, oh, this is new content. Yeah. No, I would say... I mean, yeah, like short form is such a big deal right now. Yeah. I think if you're not doing short form, you're missing out. Agreed. I think YouTube shorts are really good. I don't do a ton of them. I think TikTok's good. I don't do a ton of it. Instagram's good. Once again, slacking on that. But they all feed into your into your YouTube channel, which is ultimately, I think if you can get people to stay logged into long form content, that's the that's the most power you'll have it's a funnel space. yeah Dave's thing too is like he somebody knows him as the pizza guy somebody knows him as the patriots guy somebody knows him as this you just put it up on every platform be everywhere all the time put all your content out there and people will find it exactly and that's so with tiktok i would say yeah taking old clips because yep. you never know just throw a bunch of content who cares how it does like just throw it yeah. up dude so that is the thing that old 
guys like us don't understand because we're used to Twitter and Instagram to a degree, but mostly Twitter where it's like, it has to be happening now. And if it's not happening now, if it happened a month ago, people are gonna be like, why is this old? Why are you posting it now? No. TikTok. Nobody has any idea what's going to pop and what's not. And nobody's watching it as a linear platform. Dude, old clips can pop off like crazy. I've There's like a it. YouTube golf news guy and he just recycles. He just take like every new video posts it, and some of them just pop off. A Rory clip from three years ago when we, at a Taylor made media day. Yeah. I put on there 400,000 views. Oh man. People just like, oh, that's amazing. It, yeah, if Rory's dude, giving advice or any of that. That's what it is. Throw that up. That's great stuff. TikTok is a, is a whole other world. But TikTok is a whole other world. And the thing is what Instagram really changed a lot with growing very, very easy. Because it used to be harder to grow on Instagram. Yeah. But when they introduced Reels, that was basically their... their uh, it's their the TikTok. Word. It's their TikTok. So it's their response to TikTok yeah. is Reels. So when they launched Reels, it became very easy now for you to grow quick on Instagram. But I would say... TikTok, just in general, if you have text up on the screen, poppy text. That's when the you're other saying thing. something. If you, it's an interesting app, and Instagram is like that with Reels. If you participate in the tools on the app that they provide you, they will bump you. Yeah, I agree. If you're doing the text on the screen, if you're doing if you're using like, also another big tip is use a trending song. Okay, that actually helps the initial push. Mm, okay, this this is is a new Am I gonna be songs. shaking my ass on TikTok? You fix your swing in your to. TikTok game. See that? That's a good <laughs> clip. Like that little. Yes. That's a great like, but that almost needs to be someone's full job. Like that's what I would love to do with because like Skylar can't do everything. Right. Bring in a clips guy that just his whole job is doing clips. Bringing up Dave again. Dave's got a whole team. Dave's got yeah. a couple people that do it, and it's just like this is you're the you put a format it for this because it's all format differently. Yeah. You got to have one for TikTok. It's got to be format right for Instagram. It's got to be right for Twitter. It's the most I think what does better than anything and what can you can count on to do well are teaching videos. Like the te my the teaching channel that I'm releasing, and if I give you a tip like that, that you can almost guarantee it's going to do well. Yep. Now a random clip of you in the cart saying a funny story, it either hits or it doesn't. But if there's like a tip that I give you, and it's a, and it helps you, and other people think it could help their friend, they're going to send it to their friend. They're going to share it. Big time. It's going to get around yep. and it's going to do well. And I think that's why teaching content, pulling from that, I'll see old videos of good good labs. That was the teaching channel I had with Good Good. Mm -hmm. They'll pull an old one from like the first ever video two years ago or whatever. And that thing will just go crazy. Yep. And I'm like watching myself. It's hard to watch because I just look so different. <laughs> and yeah, I was just like, it is funny. We wild. can we can all think about all these different ideas, thumbnails, titles. What's it going to be? What's the premise? But it all kind of comes back to golf tips. Yeah. If you people if it's a good golf tip, people want to hear it and they oh, want to watch golf's it so hard. Yeah. If you're I mean, that will. But golf tips are not the only thing. I don't want to ever True. get that. Golf tips are not the only thing that will do well. The, you can do funny clips, hole in one, like all that will do well. <laughs> if it's a funny story, anything that you feel like. And that's that's why you have a guy that literally sits there and just he searches for that one clip. Yep. You know, that you can pull from the long form and it pushes the funnel to the long form. But golf tips have always been like the king of golf. Of consuming golf content i feel like dads have been sitting on the toilet reading golf magazines for forever 50 years and, and, and golf's never up. ending like my dad never would come upstairs process. from the bathroom downstairs and he'd be like i just learned something in my golf game yep. and he'd have a magazine in his hand and it figured out that if he turns his belly button before he swings yeah, yeah help right, him. right. i'm like all right now like now that's your just dad the watches next, tiktok golf that's tips. Just, <laughs> yes exactly it's all just golf tips it all comes down to golf tips but that's that's so funny it's like that's why being a golf t teacher is such a stable job usually because they have it for a day even at the highest levels you lose it yeah and it's yep. like they're always going to come back come around and back and be like i need yep. help i need yep. to be tuned up search you have a really good i mean if you're a golf teacher you have a good security <laughs> yep. or a people person are always going to suck at golf yeah, and yeah we you found out <laughs> like for for <laughs> Trent, <laughs> or maybe sometimes you're the person that needs a golf tip and that works for youtube also it's true yeah i need them all uh -huh. but i mean i get so many dms do this do that I oh, get I a know. million, which you know, it's we'll get it straightened out. We'll do a lesson. I appreciate it. I would love to. No, um, I mean, people are trying to help, but there's so many tips. If I do them all, I'm, I'm going to not. Oh, not, you'll be over the ball I can't, thinking like, about up. 70 different things. And you don't have a lot to think about because you have a natural, simple move. Oh. You're not a lot going on. There's not like a ton that needs to be changed. So True. it's cool. Grant, you put like nine hours in with us Dude. today. You've yeah. been you very got more tomorrow. No, it, this is awesome. This Long is, day you, with you've us. You've done today. like more than enough, more than we've ever imagined this would be. So 
Yeah. Um, the sprinklers just came on. Sprinklers just came on. Oh, yeah. It's black out here. Yeah, we started like, keep going all night. Oh, nice. I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it is interesting, I honestly, to like pick your brain, even just watch you make videos. That, that is, that's a, one of the benefits of collabing. Not only do you have different audiences and stuff like that, but seeing the different styles is very interesting. Yeah. And I think every, even with me and everyone else, everyone's different production levels. Like, I think we keep it very, two, like, two camera angles, yep. yeah, maybe a green angle, but like, we don't want to overproduce it because you can make it look like a movie, but then you all, you might lose people along the way if it's too yeah, good. For sure. So like, yeah, I want to upgrade camera gear. I want to do certain things, but I'm like, ooh, is that too good looking? Does yeah. it look yeah. too like a movie? Yeah. Right. It's a fine line. For sure. It is. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's cool. Like I, when I went with Rick for that week, that was the same thing. Like I was, and I'm watching you guys as well. Like the camera gear you guys have, I've never seen in my life. Yeah. Freaking Our guy Nate, Nate he's got Dude, a- Nate over there's tracking the ball like a, <laughs> <laughs> Freak. Oh, man. I don't know how you do that. I Your eyes did brighten up today. when we were talking about yeah, Nate. And dude, the ball I, when I showed up this morning, yeah. I saw that camera. And I thought there was like a Netflix series being filmed at the park. And I'm uh-huh. like, dang. And then I saw it you guys. And <laughs> I'm like, us. okay, that's what we're using for our golf video. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it was, must have been so much easier out. for him to track your balls. Ours are just a crapshoot. I saw at one point he's like pointing it towards this grove of trees, like trying to act like he got my balls. Like, you didn't. There's dude, no way today, you got that one. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to strip down our production because we have no idea where these balls are going. It's true. You for need you, the guys. It's so yeah, easy, no not easy, because guy's a fucking wizard out there. But he knows that you're generally hitting it towards the green. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. We need like three guys out there tracking. There was at one point you hit one thirty yards short of the green. I hit one thirty yards right of the green. Riggs hit one thirty yards deep of the green, and Scott was running around like a maniac. He's like, I'm not used to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I was yeah. like, the, we need three camera guys. Yeah, out and there. then when he splashed him with the sand, he's like, oh, oh I, like, I, I covered <laughs> Scott in sand. Unfortunately, like Spies. our bad golf habits and our lack of skill has cost us a little bit of production money, and that's just what it's. That's just what it is. Yeah, if you hit it on the stick every second, you can get one camera guy. Dude, we need easy to pay, job. We need to pay for Sky to get like a full body massage tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> we. He's owe, not used to what he did. We today. Owe I know him that, that for a fact. That was a tough seat for him. <laughs> we even tried to make it easier with the shamble but then our second shots would be all over the <laughs> he was place like sprinting he's like there's just no way these guys are like this. he's a warrior this, this, this is your new <clears throat> this is your new podcast channel though right this yeah we on. just started this so it's like a slow build but hopefully we can get people over to this channel so that, that's cool we're, we're trying to you know, the new we're, channel guys yeah Hit that subscribe button good timing that we got one. this guy on here yeah this is, this um, is you know we're trying to adapt i feel like you know i personally was like stubborn to the whole thing because like we've done it our own way and we've done it the bar stool way and we didn't feel like we were part of that youtube world and now it's like trying to with yeah. arms wide open baby creed like, yeah i'm ready for throw a lot all. of content on your main like on foreplay you guys just throw a bunch of videos we just throw a million things a lot, out there but like cool, we want to learn how too to, much though. we want to learn how to, to do it right like we want to learn it's hard balance that's always that's also the pull in both directions is it quality or or quantity right is that better which one's better that's a big discussion i think youtube would say quality tiktok would say quantity but TikTok would say quantity. YouTube, YouTube would say YouTube, quality. I would say quality, yeah, to keep hype. If you upload too much and you're too seen and too, it's just too much. Hype is big. Hype is. I love hype. It's intangible. I, and it's, I make a lot of, uh, whenever like we have a huge video, I'll, I'll make the teaser. I ask the guys, we have the best video editors ever. You, these guys are fucking unbelievable. We got four of them at Barstool. Do so you sit um, down with them and just. I'll ask Brendan. I'll just like I'll lay in bed and I'll just be like, send me the top clips and I want to make the I want to hype the, the same shit way. out of I'm this the thing. Same way, music. I want to make it feel like a movie like uh, trailer where it's like people cannot wait well, to see the end. Yeah, it's funny. It. George is hole in one there. We were like sending in the group chat like, what clip? How should we post this? Should there be yeah. text up on the screen? I said, I was telling him like, no text on the screen. Don't make it like cheesy at all. Smart. Play the raw footage. That smart. is sick of him talking through the shot yep. in a raw clip. Yep. yep. And I think we all agreed on that. And yeah. That's money. Yeah. That's, that's a money. Good call. But um. But yeah, man, it's it's been fun to watch you do your thing. And uh, yeah, this has been yeah, a great no, day. Thank you guys. We're filming tomorrow again. You Dan, are. I mean, I'll probably see you guys out there. I'm getting Trump. the fuck out of here. I'm getting out of here. Oh, you guys are you're flying out. I'm flying out tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm going back oh. to Scottsdale too. Wait, so you're staying, Trent? I'm yeah. on the ground. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's. Perfect. Because I'm going to do a little lesson with Trent. Yep. Yeah. Amazing. And, and Dan's doing a video with you tomorrow. What are you saying? Dan's doing a video with Dan, you Dan, I've never met Dan. So yeah, yeah, Dan's Dan great. tomorrow. You're going to like Dan's. Uh, he he plays during Nine of Mine, obviously. Yeah. It's the He's a good one. golfer. Yep. He's got yeah, some he's great action. Solid. What you it's saw today is not what you're going to see tomorrow. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I had a good time today. I had a great time. Good. We had a lovely time. We were in Horvat. You're the man. You're very impressive. 
Thank you. The fact that you kind of run your operation, the fact that you guys keep a slim little team. How old are you? 25. That's fucked. 25. Dude, come on. Are you well, fucking kidding me? That's crazy. That's How old are you guys? Oh, I'm 30. Boy. 30? You, yeah. But you still look really young. Yeah. You look young. Now, yeah. Trent, I would say. Please. Go ahead. Can I guess? Yeah, of course. No, I, actually, Trent, I think you're 31. I'm 34. Okay. I appreciate that, though. I think Riggs, 35. 36. All right. 25 years old. Yeah, no, man, you're you're a monster. You're like. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like no, that. No, no, I'm saying. I'm an impressive. I'm laughing like, at how insane You that are, is. like, in 10 years, you're going to be my age, and you are going to be, be doing. If I'm like Trent in 10 years, I've, I've won. Yeah. Wow. wow that that's was really lovely. nice but that's lovely no you're an incredible <laughs> incredibly impressive human being and we appreciate wow. you spending so much time with us yeah thank you guys we're for gonna do me this on. again soon people will hear from you again yeah here and uh taylor made i'll see you guys at the taylor made shoot see you in like a we'll month we got yeah we'll be right back down here so yeah thanks for doing this you're the man thank you guys that's i appreciate awesome. that everybody thanks brother